Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a wreath using plastic table covers, where, which is inexpensive from the dollar store. Today I've picked white and I've picked pink. You can actually do more than two colors. You can do it all the same color. It really just depends on what you want to do with it. Uh, I have a 13 inch wreath that we're gonna use. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, put you on pause for a second. I'm gonna bring you closer and I'm gonna show you how to cut it and how we'll, we'll start tying them on and how you can do it. Okay, I'll see you right back. Okay, everybody, so we're back and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cut this. So I open up the package of the white uh, plastic tablecloth. So we're gonna unfold it, open it up, fold it. I just don't wanna cut it too much where it's already been, uh, if it's too it's too thick if you cut it when it, you just open the package. So it's much easier to cut when it's a little bit thinner. It will take probably two packs, so one pack of whatever color you pick. So I did the one pack of pink and the one pack of white. I'm gonna fold it over one more time. I'm gonna show you how to cut this. So now I'm just gonna cut along this line here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you, even if there's a little bit of imperfection, you won't see it once you put it on the reef. So let's just do this one. So then I'm gonna do, it's about just over an inch, I say inch and a quarter, inch and a half strips you can do. So you just cut along there. And you're gonna need a lot of them. It is a little time consuming, so what I would do is cut them all and keep a plastic container and just pile them up with the colors with all the ones that you cut. Okay, now that we're I cut some strips off, I'm not gonna do them all. We're gonna fold them over. Easier said than done. Just fold them over, cut them in half. So now you have a little stack here. You're just gonna cut I don't know if you see the V shape on that side. Turn it over on the other side. And if some are a little bit off size, off side, don't worry about it because so this is what they'll look like when you cut them all. So what I did was I keep a little bowl and I stack them up. It's gonna take a few hours to put them on the reef. So I'm just gonna show you and then on the reef. So you start from the inner circle and work your way out. So I'm gonna do three white and then three pink. So you put it from the inside, you put it up like that, and you just make one tie. Like that. And you don't pull it too hard because it is plastic. If you do mess up on one, don't worry because you won't see it. are not functioning today so I just and you, when you put them on just make sure you're always pushing them tight all the way down so I'm doing the three white and three pink and you just keep going like that all the way around to you work your way on the outside I'm just gonna do a couple more here and I'm gonna show you a little trick. Cause then you're like, oh, well that doesn't look too pretty, does it? But I'm gonna do just a couple more here. So we're back to the white. I did mine in front of the TV as I watched a TV show and just kept doing them which was just easy to do. Just make sure you do the color in the order that you want. You can do them one color. So here we go. I'll do one more of the white. 
white and I'll do three of the pink and then I'll just show you what you can do. I think it was a couple nights that uh, in front of the TV till I got it finished. So there's three more here. And when you get to when you get to the end of the section, you can actually just push it tighter. Because if you see that I'm just pushing it tighter and make sure they're nice and tight. They won't unwrap even though you don't do them super tight. Okay, so once you have them done like that, I just go in the back and I just squeeze them. Squeeze them upwards. And you just keep pushing them as you keep doing them. As you see, once they start gathering, they look really pretty. Once you do the first roll, you'll be like, wow, it's so nice. But every time I just go, just keep squeezing when you do the whole reef. <clears throat> now I will show you what my reef looks like because I already did one. So this is my finished reef. As you can see on the inside, I had the four layers. You can fluff them out, but like I said, when you're doing them, you just make sure you pinch them as you go around when you're doing them. And I found, which was easy with a little trick that I used, I will show you, is as I was doing per layers, as you can see, there's one, two, three. Every time I did a layer, I actually used my TV remote and I just kept my, I'll just show you, I just kept my TV remote here and I just went along, tied some on, just went back. You can use anything. I just had the TV remote because I did it in front of the TV and you just keep going all the way around. They just stick out when they're done. I'm just gonna put on a couple decorations on it and I will show you the final result. I'm gonna just, I grabbed some couple little eggs. Thought I'd make it like an Easter thing. I got some eggs I'm gonna put on there. I actually got this little guy. He came with a block on the bottom. I actually took it off. I cut it off just because it was too heavy to put in the reef. And I'm just gonna put a, a little bit of tiny little greens in there. Has some pink little flowers. And I'm gonna just stick them in there as well. Those are actually off uh, a long vine that I got from the Dollarama store. I actually just pulled them off like this when I, and just took them off like that. So let me just glue those on and we'll be right back and I'll show you the final result. Hi everybody, I'm back. I finally put all the, I put the bunny on, I put a little bit of the flowers, just a little bit of the eggs. I didn't want to take away from the wreath too much because I think it just looks so nice the way it is. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and we'll see you in a couple days. Bye!